Hey guys, Purple right here, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I make my thumbnails because everyone always wanted it. And to be honest, I'm really bored right now, and like I know I haven't really uploaded, and I'm not even going to be planning on uploading that much. So like, if I ever think of like a video idea and I'm bored, I might upload, but like to be honest, I, I don't really upload. So yeah, but people wanted to know how to make thumbnails, so drop a like, subscribe, do all that jazz if you're new. And yeah, I'm just going to show y'all how to make thumbnails. So first of all, I use Bad Lion Client. Or like you can use any client that has like a replay mod so basically i just like turn on replay mod like however you turn it on my hotkeys personally p but whatever it's like you know replay mod and the hotkeys whatever so if you use bad line this should be really easy for you so basically just use replay mod just run around do whatever you want to do for the thumbnail maybe you want to bridge or whatever you want to do like voila easy bridge boom and then basically just stop that go here Go to uh, replay viewer. I open up the replay. Boom. See, now we have our Minecraft character and we can play and pause it whenever we like. So we're just going to wait and like get a random screenshot here. And then we'll go into the Photoshop part in a momento. Let me just get the screenshot. All right. Also, tell me guys how your days have been going in the comments. You know, I might, I might read some comments. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't really have much to do today since it's a Sunday. And like whatever so yeah just read the you know check the comments and we're just gonna do a quick like bridging thumbnail we'll just use this f2 screenshot it and boom we're done exit replay go in your search bar search percent app data percent open the b up minecraft we go to the screenshots folder and then we want to go to our recent screenshots basically all right, so yeah, we go here, open the screenshot. Yeah, grab the screenshot. All right, we don't even need Minecraft anymore, so we're gonna close that out. Okay, we're gonna open the Photoshop file, which will be down in the description below. It should be like thumbnail making Damien.psd or something. So if you have any version of Photoshop, this should work and it'll be really simple and easy. All right, I'm putting this over on my other monitor for a minute just so I can open up Photoshop. And I'm sorry this tutorial is really raw and really like dumb. It's because to be honest, I can't be asked to edit something, so yeah, you guys get a raw tutorial how I make thumbnails. Alright, now that we got our Photoshop file open here, uh, you'll be greeted with like these few things. So there'll be a text, two text files, they're like the same thing, they're just different colors. And I'm going to show you completely how I make my thumbnails. There'll be a few different things like this. This is the preset border, I'll show you how to use that in a moment. There's some, some flames if you want those, and then a random explosion. And then this is the CC. You can obviously edit the like hue and whatever afterwards. So after you got your screenshot, basically just copy and then go to Photoshop, control V, paste it, whatever you want to do. And it should look something like this. I mean, I already have presets, but like I said, you can mess around with the hue, saturation, whatever you want to do. I normally like make it bigger. Sometimes I usually just adjust it until like I have it where I want it. And then from there I would, um, outline the character using press P which opens up the pen tool and then I basically just outline it like so for this one I'm just going to do a simple outline you guys can like zoom in do your outline however obviously making thumbnails takes practice so like you'll have to practice with it before you're like super good uh, you can use like control plus to zoom in Photoshop if you like really you know want to get it nice and uh, outline very like detailedly I mean, you can obviously do a rough cut, but like zooming in to get the outline makes it look a lot better at the end of the at the end results. After you're done outlining, just right click it here, click make selection, anti-alias on, new selection, feather radius zero, press OK. Sometimes it'll accidentally select the like wrong thing after you make the selection. So you have to go to select and press inverse and it'll select the inverse thing. I don't know why it does that, but it does. And then you press Control C, Control V, it makes a new layer. And this is where the preset border comes in. So basically, just go on it, right click it, and then go to Copy Layer Style, and then go back, right click the layer you just made, and Paste Layer Style. And it should make a nice outline like that. And then what I usually do is, with the background, I usually just blur it. Obviously, if you want to outline multiple things, you can, because like I don't know, it's like Photoshopping. Mean, just do whatever. Like I said, you just gotta have to work with it. And then for text, I'd basically just copy, control, click on the text file, control C, go to the next layer, control V, 
new text boom bada bang and um yeah we're just gonna make a text for like the thumbnail tutorial we're just gonna use this for the thumbnail tutorial because honestly why the heck not so yeah basically just put whatever you want the text to say adjust it accordingly i'll show you guys how to change the color in a second i usually select both of them and then paste the layer style that i pasted on the thing so it's like nice and outlined everything as well so yeah now we got this and then honestly i just mess around with it until it looks good so you guys can do whatever you want there um like sometimes i'll like go in make things bigger make things smaller etc etc and yeah just like mess around with it until you got it however you want it so yeah this looks good to me so bada bang bada boom just have that boom and uh, yeah and then to change the color after you've made it a layer basically just control u and you know slide it wherever you want it to be i personally i think i'm gonna use purple for this one actually no purple don't look that good we're just gonna use this nice blue color and boom and then you can obviously mess around and make your thumbnail however you want but that's basically how i make my thumbnails this photoshop file will be down in the description below so if you want to download it feel free to do so and uh yeah thank you all for watching i'll see y'all later or not i mean i really don't know thank you all peace have a good day